Welcome to the Georgia Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the sign up for additional sessions. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website where you registered. And now I'd like to turn it over to our very first presenter from Augusta University. Hey everyone, my name is Kevin Dotson and I am joined with my colleague Jessica Rodriguez. And Jessica will be answering questions in the chat uh, while I give the presentation. Uh, we're both admissions counselors here at Augusta University, and I look forward to providing you all with more information about our school. Um, so getting started, Augusta University was uh, founded in 1828. Uh, we are one of four research institutions within the state of Georgia. We are the only public medical school and the only dental school in the state of Georgia as well. Our total enrollment is 9,200 students, and um, we look forward to having you all as students. Um, I will go over additional information in the next few slides. Um, our freshman class um, is about over 1,000 students every year. Um, majority of our students attending are from Georgia, as you see, with 92% of those students coming from Georgia. Um, a little bit more about our student population. 53% of our students are Caucasian, 26% African-American, 8% Hispanic, 7% are Asian students, and 6% identify um, as two or more um, races or ethnicities. Augusta University um, is located in Augusta, Georgia, of course. Within that circle, you'll see um, is a 150 mile marker, or as I like to call it, the two and a half hour window. We're the second largest and the second oldest city in Georgia. Uh, we're very close to the beach for a nice weekend getaway. We do have Top Golf as well. Um, Dave and Buster's is in the works also, but we're surrounded by many restaurants, shops, museums, and outdoor activities for our students to enjoy. Our top majors at Augusta um, are located in the top right hand corner. Um, so cell and molecular biology is which um, is what our students will um, is one of our most popular because our students are focused within the pre med and pre dental. Um, we also have business administration with concentrations in economics, finance, management and marketing. Kinesiology has co concentrations in nutrition, physical therapy, exercise, sports and health science as well. Um, but don't forget, we do have over 160 different majors. So music, education, legal studies, uh, criminal justice, social work, um, and more. Uh, one of the unique major that we have is medical illustration. We're one of four um, schools in the entire nation that has a medical illustration program. So if you are interested um, in art and also within healthcare, um, that's the perfect combination. Um, we also have a professional scholars program. Our professional scholars program is a direct admit program into our medical and dental school. Um, so for those high school seniors, if you have a 3.7 plus GPA, a 1450 plus on the SAT or a 32 plus on the ACT, we encourage you to apply to our professional scholars program. You simply need to indicate cell and molecular biology on your application. And at that point, you will be good to go. Our students are very involved on campus. We do have a biology club, which is one of our largest clubs. Um, we have Greek life, the Black Student Union, Modern UN, and more. So we have over 170 plus clubs and organizations. If there's something we don't have, you can actually start your own club or organization as well. Our division one athletic team would be our golf team. Division two athletics uh, would in include our baseball, basketball, um, track and field, tennis, volleyball, and cheerleading. So we do have on-campus um, resident halls as well. Um, that's, on the, that's on the previous slide. They were built in 2016. Um, freshmen are not required to live on campus. I wanna mention that. And you can also bring your car your freshman year. 
when it comes to the requirements um, to enroll at Augusta, the application is on the Common App and it's through Georgia Futures. Um, you only need to complete one application. Our app fee is $55. We are test optional for spring and fall of 2021. You only need to turn in your transcript and have a 3.0 in the 17 required high school courses. So that would be four Englishes, four maths, four sciences, three social sciences, and two foreign languages. We encourage you to submit your test scores. It can only help you at this point. And the average student coming in has about a 3.5, 1120 on the SAT, and a 23 on the ACT. What um, upcoming events we have, guys, we do have daily campus tours at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Our virtual information sessions are offered at 2 p.m. And you can also sign up for a virtual tour just in case you didn't want to travel to Augusta. Um, if you have any additional questions after this session, feel free to contact us at admissions at Augusta.edu. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the presentation. We look forward to having you as students. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, we will be hearing from Belmont University. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is John Plummer Ray. I am one of our assistant directors of admission at Belmont University, located in Nashville, Tennessee. So excited to be chatting with y'all. I would be your admissions counselor. So please do reach out with any and all questions that you may have. For those of y'all unfamiliar with Belmont, we are a medium-sized private co-ed Christian institution. We have just over 8,200 students total with about 6,800 of those being undergraduate students. We have very small class sizes, something we're really proud of on average, about 19 students per class. We believe that inside the classroom, you need to be able to connect with your professors and connect with other students. You'll never be taught by graduate assistants, teaching assistants, or be thrown into a massive lecture hall with 300 of your closest friends. Our student body comes from all over the country. About 70% of our incoming freshman class this year was from outside of the state of Tennessee. About half of our students are from 500 miles or more away from the Nashville area. So I bring this up to you just to let you know if you're maybe one of the only people you know looking at Belmont, you're not alone in that whatsoever. Of our incoming 1,600 students this fall, those students came from about 1,100 different high schools. So again, students coming from truly all over the place. Now our campus itself is pretty compact as you'll see by this picture. We're located in the middle of the city, but our campus itself lends to campus life as well as city life. It takes you about 12, 15 minutes max to get from one corner of campus to the other. We are located right in the part of Nashville, Tennessee, one of the fastest growing cities in the country. On average, about 100 people move to the greater Nashville area every single day. We're located right in the heart of everything, nestled in between a couple of great neighborhoods. Hillsboro Village to our west, just north of us is Music Row. Music Row is the hub of all things revolving around the music industry, where you're gonna find studios, record labels, performing rights organizations, all of that good stuff. So you're located in a fantastic city. Now, academic-wise, we have just over 100 different majors and programs on campus. You can choose from a wide variety of different things. A lot of people know us at Belmont for the arts and for music and kind of everything within the entertainment industry world. Music business is our largest major on campus. Other large programs include our direct admit nursing program, as well as our College of Business. We've had a lot of growth within our College of Science and Mathematics, as well as within a lot of our different pre-professional areas new programs in architecture, hospitality and tourism management, direct admit programs into our graduate level OT and PT program. So there is a lot that you can choose from all across campus as far as majors go. Again, small class sizes, regardless of if it's your freshman or your senior year, classes within your major or general education courses. And we want you to take advantage of everything that is available to you in Nashville as far as internships go about three quarters of our students have at least one internship at some point over the span of their four years. So a lot of great stuff academic wise, but obviously you're not studying all day, every day. We have a really vibrant student community. We wanna make sure that you are getting plugged into the student experience. We have just over 160 different student organizations and clubs overall, a wide variety of different things. Maybe you wanna get involved in Greek life, so fraternities or sororities, Maybe you want to be in a club or ensemble or group within the music world. Maybe you want to be in intramural or club sports. Again, a lot for you to choose from. 
We are NCAA Division I Athletics at Belmont. We play in the Ohio Valley Conference. All of our athletic events are totally free for our students. Most popular sports as far as attendance would go would be men's basketball. They play in our Curb Event Center Arena, which is also home to a lot of different special events. Most notably, you will see in a couple of weeks, we are hosting the third and final presidential debate on October 22nd, which we're excited about. So there's always a lot going on on campus, that's for sure. Just to talk a little bit about the admissions process, of course, our application is live. You can access the application either through our website, just at belmont.edu, or through the common application. We are test optional for this year. If you choose to submit test scores, you'll see those averages listed on the screen. 24 to a 30 for the ACT and 1120 to a 1320 on the SAT. We do super score for both uh, admission and scholarship purposes on the ACT as well as on the SAT. We also ask to have your official high school transcript and your school counselor letter of recommendation. Once all of that is received, you should receive an admissions decision within about two weeks. All students are reviewed on a regular decision timeline, so your offer of admission is non-binding whatsoever. We don't have early action or early decision, which will be phrases you hear about some other institutions. From a scholarship perspective, a big thing to keep in mind is that your application for admission is your application for any and all merit-based scholarships. So just by applying to Belmont, you're automatically considered for everything here on the screen. Happy to answer any more specific questions about scholarships, but these general academic merit scholarships range from three to $10,000. If you submit with test scores, we're just gonna look at those test scores and GPA. For test optional students, we'll look a little bit more holistically, look at things like your curriculum, your essay, involvement within your resume of activities. A lot of different things will come into play for that. On our name scholarship side, that would be anything above the $10,000 threshold, very, very competitive awards. December 1st is a big date to keep in mind for those awards. That's also our priority deadline to have the FAFSA submitted to us for need-based aid. Last thing that I'll mention is that we are open for in-person visits if y'all are coming to Nashville, so feel free to pop on up and see us and open for virtual visits. So thanks and have a great rest of your night. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Benedict College. And a reminder to keep sending in Q&A questions. Hello. Can everyone hear me? Yes. All right. I am currently working from two screens. So I'm going to share my dual screen for one moment. And then um, we'll get started. All right, can you can y'all see the slideshow? Yeah. All right. So Benedict College is located in Columbus. Oh, sorry, I introduced myself. My name is Devontae Pondexter, uh, Benedict College re recruiter and counselor. I'm also a Benedict College alum of class of 2014. Uh, I am definitely honored to be a part of this program and to share a little bit more about this information of my wonderful institution. All right, so Benedict College is located in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, Columbia is the city of South Carolina, the beautiful city of South Carolina, so it's a metropolitan area. Um, this, what you see on the screen, is the best of BC, which is our hashtag. We're looking for the best of the best students to bring out the best and the best in them, and then also give them the best of the best experience they had as far as this college. Uh, so a little bit of background on Benedict. Uh, Benedict was founded in 18, 1870. Um, so this year is, we're celebrating our 150th year of existence here in Columbia, South Carolina. We are a four-year private co-educational liberal arts institution. And do I, may I add, we are an HBCU, winning the HBCU of the year for 2019-2020. Um, we will be providing students with a wonderful learning environment especially from my new leadership from Dr. Rosalind Clark Artis. She is our first and fifth, first and 14th uh, president of Benedict College. She is, uh, is ironic because we were founded by a woman, Ms. Bathsheba Benedict in 1870, and now we are led by our first female president. She's also been connected with the Business Center, which is the Tyrone Adams School of Business and Entrepreneurship. That is our top major. Um, she has created the Women's and Business Women's Business Center for our women that's on campus starting a business or are inspired to be an entrepreneur. 
our admissions requirements are 2.0 or higher. But I'm going to stop right there because we do accept students under a 2.0 with our Summer Bridge program. Our Summer Bridge program will be headed to our third annual Summer Bridge program this upcoming summer. And it's for students who are under a 2.0 but over a, a 1.5. Um, all you have to do is maintain a C average and two, um, two courses, general education courses such as math, science, English. Um, we also we also will be test optional too as well. SAT scores, if you do decide to turn them in, SAT scores will be A50 and the ACT will be a 17. But surprisingly this year, um, for some of our rising, for some of our seniors, graduating seniors, we will be waiving those test scores. So you will only be accepted just based upon your transcript. So students, we will not be given out we will be giving waivers out for your test scores this year. But to give you an additional scholarship, we will love for you to turn in your test scores to see your progress as well and get those, get those scholarships. Like I said, we are looking for your official transcript. Your official transcript is due upon graduation because it won't be official until you graduate. Um, we have a population of about 200. I mean, we have a population of about 2,100 students as well. Um, the three departments that we have is the Tyrone Adam Burroughs School of Business and Entrepreneurship the School of Arts and Science, and the School of Education, Health, and Human Services. Within these three uh, departments, we have a wide variety of majors, the top majors being business administration, social work, biology, justice administration, and psychology. Within, within all those majors that you just seen, we have the in internship experience to a career of your choice. So any career path where you're trying to go into, for example, if you're choosing biology or you're choosing nursing, we will recommend you to choose biology. We have internships to become pediatric nurses. Uh, we also have uh, I mean, internships to become OBGYNs, uh, nurse assistants, et cetera. All right, the Tyrone Adam Burroughs School Business of Entrepreneurship. Our school is basically based off of business. Every major that was on that list has a minor or a major, I mean, has a minor or you could double major into a business uh, such as marketing management and entrepreneurship. But within the Tyrone Burrow, Adam Burrow School of Business, Mr. Tyrone Burrow is also an alumni from Benedict College too as well. Um, he has two buildings on campus that are that were um, given to him through his gracious donations. He's been helping out students get scholarships who want to start their business or inspired to be an entrepreneur. Um, the majors that's within that, de that department, accounting, business administration, economics, fi finance, uh, management, marketing, and supply chain management. We also have an MBA program, a master's in business. It's one of our newest programs. This year will be coming up on our third year as well of our master's in business. It is fully accredited. All of our majors are fully accredited. Um, we also have that master's in business within general business and management. Some of our student campus life. Us, like I said, our campus life uh, has about 2,100 students enrolled at the moment. Uh, we can house up to 2,500 students. The female, to male ratio is females outweighing the males and our out of state to in state, um, out of state students are um, outweighing some of our in state students. Um, we do not have any out of state tuition fees. So all any students that want to apply to Benedict College, we do not have out of state tuition fees. Our tuition is now 2380 due to our president. She dropped it 26%. Uh, we have, we have uh, students that are eligible to have um, out of, no out of state tuition fees too as well. Um, from eight, we have a student teacher ratio, 18 to one, and we have over 50 clubs, including the Divine Nine. Um, some of our student services, Student Success Center, First Time Experience, Career Pathway, and our service learning and leadership development. These are the ways that you can develop yourself as a student and as a professional. Um, the Student Success Center will help you with your resume writing, your career building skills, such as your career pathway will help you with your interview skills and some of your career um, clothing because we have a career closet. Our first time experience is for some of our students who are maybe struggling through that their freshman year, but we are having some mentors to guide them through and our service learning and leadership development. Um, we have certain seminars and webinars for students as well as service learning, some, somewhat of your community service too as well. Sorry to cut you off, but that uh, is the end of your time. Okay, sorry. No problem. Thank you. 
And uh, next we'll be hearing from Brunel University. Hi everyone, my name is Diamond Wood and I'm a freshman mission specialist at Brunel University. I'm also joined here with Madison Phillips, who's also a recruiter and both of us are Brunel alums. Both of us graduated last May, May of 2019 and I hope you all enjoy this presentation. Feel free to ask questions as I'm presenting as Madison will answer them. So at Brunel, we do have a free online application, it is open. Our minimum GPA requirement is a 2.75 and we do ask for official high school transcripts. We are test optional, um, but if you do decide to submit your SAT or ACT, our SAT minimum score is 1000 and our ACT is an 18. Again, there is no application free or any essays, so feel free to submit your application as we're sitting here right now. So to talk about some scholarship opportunities, we do have merit scholarship that is academic based and some talent scholarships. Each major has their own scholarships, as you can see that is listed, as well as sports. We do have state grants as well as a legacy scholarship if you have a family member who has attended Brunel University. As you all know, FAFSA opened October 1st, so we do ask that students go ahead and complete that ahead of time, just so that we can get your scholarships and financial aid package to you in time for you to make your official decision. If you need help filling out your FAFSA, feel free to contact our financial aid department by emailing them at the email listed below. Here are some of the majors that we offer. We do have four different colleges. We have the College of Business and Communication, the College of Education, the Colleges of Fine Arts and the Colleges of Health Science. Brunel is most known for their theater program as we have the, one of the top theater programs in the nation and one of the top nursing programs in the Southeast region. We're also known for our dance program as well in our business program. So as you see, you can major in multiple majors as well as have a minor. For instance, I was a health science major with a minor in pre-law. And again, these are some more of our health science majors um, that are listed. Again, we're most known for our nursing, but we do have exercise science as well for anyone interested in athletic training. We have over 12 different athletic sports. If any of you are interested in athletics, please click the link that is listed below or the website listed below just so that we can get you in contact with the coaches and start recruiting. We are part of the NAIA uh, division and we are really good. You can follow us on Instagram at our athletics to see some of our student athletes accomplishments. Around the campus, this is gonna talk about um, some of the stuff that we do have. Of course, Bird Center is known where we hold majority of our performances. We do have a two-story gymnasium there is a weight room on the top floor and a pool on the first. Um, we do have new renovations to our freshman dorms as well as sorority houses. We have eight different sororities as well as 50 different organizations. If you do not see an organization that you are appealed to, you can always start your own with just five members and an advisor. If you would like to do a campus tour, we do have virtual and on-ground tours. Our virtual tours are Monday through Fridays at 10 a.m. and our on-ground tours are Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at, at 10 a.m. and then Thursdays and Tuesdays at 11 a.m. And you can always, once again, visit that link to schedule your visit. Again, my name is Diamond. You can always contact me at this contact information or one of your other freshman admission specialists. If you do have any further questions about Brunel, some of our majors or either other scholarship opportunities, feel free to contact us at our main number or email us. Thank you guys. 
Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Bruton Parker College and a reminder to keep sending in those Q&A questions. All righty. Hello, everyone. My name is Callie Smith. I am from Bruton Parker College in Mount Vernon, Georgia. I'm joined by my coworker, Cherry, and she's going to be fielding any questions that you may have during this presentation. One more. There we go. So just to give you an original view of our campus size, we have about 200 acres that we have for our campus. We actually have 100 acres that we have not even developed yet. So it's really nice forest land behind our campus, which is really beneficial for us because our enrollment rate has been growing at 23% the past four years. So we're really excited about this growth. But obviously that means we're going to be building new dorm space, building new academic space. So we're going to be having that going on and we're really excited about that. We typically have about 500 or more residential students right now. Again, that number is growing and we're really excited for it. That number translates to about a 15 to 1 student to professor ratio in the classroom. This means there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one time for our students. They really enjoy that one-on-one -on -one time because they, and then they don't fall behind and feel like they can't catch up. They get to really develop relationships with their professors. And our professors really enjoy getting to learn about students, what they wanna do with their life and their passions and how we can get them to that point in their journey. We have over 20 degree programs here at the undergraduate level. So there's a little bit of something for everything within the liberal arts industry. In regards to our biology major, this is one of our most popular majors because you can concentrate in ecology or health professions. And that health professions concentration will help you satisfy any of prerequisite needs to move on to higher education options, such as med school, veterinary school, pharmacy school, a bunch of different options that you can think of there. Right now, we do have a pre-nursing track with health professions as well, but we are looking to not launch our first ever full nursing degree in fall of 2022. So very excited about that for our campus. And we are even renovating an entire dorm for our nursing students to be able to have their own space and their own dorm life going on. So a lot of good opportunities going there. And then, also with our business major, second largest major that we have on campus, we have five different concentrations for that major, which include accounting, general business, business management, health and wellness management, and then information systems, which is for our students that are interested in more of the computer science side of the business world. And then as you can see, there's multiple different programs to choose from to kind of fit any interest that may be out there for different students. In regards to scholarship opportunities for our students, we do have academic scholarships. Those are based on SAT or ACT scores, and there's different tiers to those scholarships. So the higher your test scores are, the more scholarship money you can get from those test scores. We do have athletic scholarships from our athletic department, and we'll talk a little bit about what those different athletic teams are in a few slides. We have Christian Studies scholarships for students that are in that department and doing that major. And those scholarships and our music scholarships are actually some of the largest scholarships on campus. Those students can receive up to $10,000 in scholarship for those programs. So it's a really good opportunity if you do have an interest in either of those. And then another program that we do have is the LRAP program, which is a loan replacement assistant pr program for qualifying students that helps to pay off loans in the event that that's part of your financial aid journey. And giving you a little bit of a view about what dorm life looks like. These are our female dorms to kind of get you a feel of what a room would look like if you were here. Friendship and Dowling Hall are actually mirror dorms. So they're set up the exact same. So we included them with the one picture. And then we also included some male dorms as well. This gives you a very good before and after of what the dorms would look like when you moved in versus when you customize them. 
All of our dorms are suite style. So you would share a room with your roommate and then you would have an adjoining bathroom that connects you to your suite mates rooms. And all of our dorms are gender based. So it is male and female. We have 25, over 25 student organizations on campus. We've given you a little bit of examples of the organizations that are here on campus. As some of our other colleges and universities have mentioned, we also provide the opportunity that there, if there is an organization or club not on campus that you would like to see added, you are more than welcome to do so as long as it is a group of 10 of you that are committed to starting the organization. And then our Student Government Association will actually give each club and organization a $200 budget for each semester to host event and do bonding activities. So that's a really good opportunity for our students to get out there and get active. As you can see in the top picture, we do have a lake on campus as well. Our lake is very popular outdoor space for our students. We have kayaks and paddle boats on campus that lets our students stay active that way. And then this is a list of all of our NAIA Division I athletic teams that are available for our students to participate in if you're interested in athletics. We are also a Christian college, so this is an example of all the different ways that students can get involved spiritually with us here on our campus. And then these are some helpful links. If you're interested in visiting with us, you can go to the website, or if you'd like to apply with us, we have provided you with a fee waiver. So you can go to the application website, plug in that fee, and it's absolutely free for you to apply with us. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And thank you all for listening. Thank you. And lastly, we'll be hearing from Stanford University. So send in those Q&A questions. Hello, I'm Susan Aby. I'm the Assistant Director of Recruitment for Samford University in Birmingham, Alabama. Thanks for hanging out and listening to this. I uh, wanted to let you know a little bit about Samford. We have uh, all the fun stuff that you're looking for in a university. Division I sports, sororities and fraternities. We have 166 different student organizations. 177 majors, minors, and concentrations for you to choose from. So we probably have whatever it is that you're looking to study. Uh, we are the largest private university in Alabama, uh, but even more importantly, our university students are ranked number two in the entire country. That's all public and private universities for student engagement. Sanford students are involved on campus with their fellow students, with their professors, and uh, in the community in Birmingham as well. Uh, our total enrollment is about 5,700. We've got about 3,700 undergraduate students. 70% uh, of those are from out of state. And in fact, there's more students this year that have entered Sanford from the state of Georgia than from even Alabama, from any other state. So uh, the word is getting around. Uh, our student to teacher ratio is 13 to 1 and our average class size is about 18. So our students do enjoy great mentor relationships with their professors. Uh, the professors and the staff members on campus assist students in finding internships and in job placement, even uh, decisions about choosing a major or um, choosing which classes to take in combination. So Sanford has that unique community where you have all the great things you want out of college life combined with that more uh, intensive time with professors and with your community. We also have uh, great intramurals, great activities on campus for you to be involved with and study abroad. We have 50 different programs in 13 different countries. And in fact, 43% of our student population takes advantage of that and chooses to study abroad at some time during their student years. This is an overview of campus. As you can see, it's um, a really great space for that community that I talked about. 
open green space. You can often find students laying on blankets, having picnics on the quad. Uh, there's literally Frisbee throwing on the quad as well. It is a walking campus. So uh, you can take your car if you want to, but you're not gonna need it to get around campus. The freshman dorms are located very centrally to all the academic buildings. And then after freshman year, you might be interested in an apartment style dorm. You can't see those in this picture because they're a little to the left and a little to the right, but we've got some different uh, variations of dorm styles available as well. Our freshmen and sophomores all live on campus unless they live in town with their families. And 75% uh, of our students live on campus all four years. Everyone eats in the same dining hall. Everyone studies in the same library. The library is actually a great social scene as long as you're on the first floor. That's where there's big comfy leather chairs, uh, seating arrangements so that you can have great group study sessions. And then as you go up the levels, it becomes more quiet and more intensive study. Uh, the students on the second floor can whisper if they have study sessions together, but the students on the third floor don't talk at all. That's the silent level. And in fact, if you try to open a bag of chips on the third floor, someone could possibly throw a book at you. I wanted to talk a little bit about some of our academic programs. Sanford's academics are very strong. One area of that strength is our College of Health Sciences, nursing, pharmacy, kinesiology, physical therapy. We have a physician's assistant program. We have social work. We have informatics for medical students that are also interested in the technology side. Uh, biology and chemistry, those pre-med, pre-veterinary, pre-dentistry tracks also exist at Sanford. You can see this mechanical patient. Uh, there's some videos on our website of the simulation labs. Our students are able to get a really good look at what it's going to be like when they go in for their clinicals. There's a mechanical patient on campus that actually gives birth to a mechanical baby. It's really cool. Uh, we also have great business programs, six different majors in our School of Business, uh, in our newer facility that um, our business students enjoy. You can see that there is a ticker room right here on campus for our students. They invest about $2.3 million of the university's money in the stock exchange, and they enjoy that very much. We also have competitions for entrepreneurial students uh, to get seed money for their startup businesses. Uh, being in the great metropolis of Birmingham, our students are also, um, they have access to great resources in terms of the community. Division I sports, so for all you athletes, if you'd like to get in touch with our sports teams, go right ahead. Our um, Deadline for priority scholarships is December 1. We have a holistic scholarship process and admission process. So we're gonna look at all of these elements for you. And this year, if you have had difficulty getting test scores in, then you can apply without your test score being considered. The middle 50% of our students have an ACT between 23 and 29, SAT between 1130 and 1350, and a cumulative weighted GPA of 3.48 to 4.1. Would love to talk with you guys. Thank you. So thank you all for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. This was just one of many sessions being hosted. So be sure to check out the full sign up. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session's recordings online. Um, we have a few minutes left, so I'm just going to open it back up to any of the reps that want to share some more information or address the Q&A question.
All right, well, it seems like our Q&A is wrapped up. So uh, thank you all for joining us. Have a good rest of your night. Bye now.